If we take a look at popular music in the Philippines today, you'll see a lot of K-pop. You'll see Filipinos singing along to Korean songs even if they don't always know what they're singing. And I can't blame them. The catchy beats and infectious melodies have helped K-pop take over the world. But in the early 80s, it was a Filipino song that was popular all around the world. A song that didn't need an army of songwriters and producers. A song sung by one man, with a guitar and a couple of strings. This video is brought to you by the Ryan Rambles channel members and my supporters on Patreon. Let's go back two years to 1978 and the first Metropop Festival. You might know this song, the song that won first place. But I think it was the songs that didn't win that actually became more popular. There was this one. Which was eventually sampled by Francis M. 14 years later. But also this song. Anna, arranged by Domino Amarillo and interpreted by the composer himself, Mr. Freddy Aguilar. Written and sung by the then unknown 25-year-old singer, Freddy Aguilar. People say that he was so unknown that they didn't even want to let him sing his own song. They wanted someone more famous, like Rico J. Puno, to sing the song instead. But this was Freddy's apology song for his parents. So no one else could do the song justice. Bigla ako nag-flashback, saan ba ako nang galing? Bumalik ako na nandun ako sa tiyan ng nanay ko. Tapos pinanganak ako, nalagaan ako. Tapos paglaki ko, kinontra ko silang lahat. No? Kinuha, kinuha ko yung gitara ko. Ngayon na, nung isilang ka sa mundong ito. Nung isilang ka sa mundong ito. Dire-diretso na yun. Less than one hour, Mel. Nagawa ko pati yung kwento, pati melody ng song. And then I recorded it in my mono cassette. And then I played it back. I'm crying. And magulgul ako. I felt sorry. No? Pinaktan ko yung nanay, tatay ko. The song didn't win at the festival, but it had everyone talking. Eventually reaching the ears of Italian music producer Christian De Walden, who fell in love with the song and decided to market it to different countries. And they loved the song. It was a hit in over 50 countries and was translated to 29 languages. <laughs> This is Freddie in 1980, performing the song on a Dutch TV show called Top Pop. But the song was also massive in other places like Germany, Japan, Sweden, and Korea. So decades before Filipinos would sing Korean songs, Koreans were singing a Filipino song. <laughs> But why? I think because the song talks about something so universal. It's a song of apology to your parents. So one day, I went to Manila. I gave the lyrics. I said, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And when he read it, he wanted to come back. He said, I'm going to come back. Oh, I'm going to change. You understand me again. I said. So if you're wondering why the song became so popular, all you need to do is look at the last stanza of the song. You are the one who is in the world. At ang una mong nilapitan ang iyong inang lumuluha At ang tanong anak, ba't ka nagkaganyan? At ang iyong mga matay, biglang lumuha ng di mo napapansin And after the song became a hit all over the world, Freddie could have been an international pop star. According to Freddie, RCA Records offered him a 10-year, $10 million contract. But the catch was he had to live and work in the United States. But Freddie, being a nationalist, rejected the offer. He wanted to stay in the Philippines. 
At the time, the Philippines was being ruled by a brutal dictator, and the country needed Cafredi, who wrote songs criticizing the government, including Katarungan, Pangako, and Luz Viminda. But it was his version of Bayan Ko that became the song of the EDSA revolution. He sang the song at Ninoy Aquino's funeral, and he even led crowds in singing the song during the People Power movement. But in more recent years, Freddie has made headlines for different things, including marrying a 16-year-old back in 2013 when he was 60 years old. Ano, anong ginawa ko? Nagmahal po ako, minahal din po ako. May kaso ba yun? Kinasuhan ng qualified seduction sa Quezon City Prosecutor's Office ang sikat na singer na si Ka Freddy Aguilar. And endorsing the president who gave the dictator Marcos a hero's burial. The same dictator who had his songs banned. So to quote The Dark Knight, You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. But I think we can choose to remember Freddy Aguilar for his impact on folk music not just in the Philippines, but around the world. And for his activism that helped free us from the rule of a dictator. And when everything is said and done, I think this is what we'll remember him for. Today, more than 40 years after the song was created, the song remains in the public consciousness. Filipinos of all ages know the song, but also people around the world. You can see this in the comment section of Anak. People from different nations come together to celebrate the song. It was even used in the film Gangnam Blues, starring Lee Min Ho which was set in Korea during the 70s, around the time when the song would have been popular, introducing the song to a whole new generation of Korean fans. And I think the longevity of the song proves its greatness. And I think thousands of years in the future, when historians try to figure out what Filipino music used to sound like, I'm willing to bet that this is the song that they'll find. And honestly, I don't have any problem with that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy me talking about music, check out the podcast over on Spotify. I can actually put the songs that I'm talking about in the podcast. So you can actually listen to the songs I'm talking about. Also, this video will probably not get monetized because I'm playing songs in the video. So I'm not going to make any money from this. But if you want to support me and support the work that I do, consider becoming a member of the channel. Or of course, you can also join on Patreon. As little as 50 pesos a month goes a long way and helping me continue to create the content that I like making for you guys. There's a lot more content I can make on Patreon, but whatever works for you works for me. I'm just happy that you're here and that you like the content. But as always, shout out to the Mother Lily channel members, Ashley Martelino and Mom Gay Ace Domingo. You guys rock. You are the best. But till next time, peace and I love y'all. Uy mga Pinoy, ito na ang medisina Nagbabagong apoy, linagyan ng gasolina Kaya't tinatanong pa ba kung kanino at sino Ang tsak na puntahan sa kulturang Pilipino Ako na ang sagot, ang dakilang gamot